Hello, I'm Renee Force here from Solid Experts, and in today's quick tip video, we're going to be seeing how we can customize the colors of our SolidWorks application so that we can either work with the more classic feeling theme of pre-2016 or how we can work with dark themes and the modern layout of our buttons. To be demonstrating this, I have my SolidWorks 2022 open on my machine, and I'm going to be opening a recent document just so that we have something in our display area for us to be able to look at. So we can see things such as the default colors, which is the more white and blue that we've all become familiar with since the facelift of 2016. And we can see here that I haven't done anything to change any of the default colors or default layouts of anything that we have in my view area. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at how we can come to our options. And under our options, we're going to be looking at how we can modify our colors so that we can either see what the SOLIDWORKS menus used to look like by selecting the icon color as classic and our background color as the medium light. We can see that this is recommended to us for those of us that want to switch to the classic as the medium light is going to be more of that familiar light gray feel that SOLIDWORKS used to have. Upon selecting OK on the system options, we'll see that we come to that light gray, uh, yellow and green options that we used to see whenever we would sign into SOLIDWORKS or whenever we'd be operating um, our product. We're going to come back into our colors here. We're going to select our default for the icons and we're going to take a look at what the medium and the dark can do. So I'll just very quickly select OK. We can see we have this kind of more gray option as well as there's a dark option for those of us that are trying to get to the darker displays or the darker layouts for our windows. So if you're the type of person who likes to use Google in dark mode or likes to use the black uh, backgrounds for your Explorer, this is kind of the closest that we can get to here. The downside of this is that our view window here, where our part is actually living, is still extremely bright. Uh, we can fix this by coming to our settings, coming into colors, and we have this ability to do either a plain background or a gradient background. And we're going to do the gradient background as a demonstration of what this can do. So when we select OK, we'll see that we kind of have this gradiated or gradient color in the back uh, that can give us this kind of darker appeal so it's not as bright on our eyes. And we can see the way that this interacts by turning on and off our real view graphics so we can see the way that our part would be looking if we were actually modeling inside of SOLIDWORKS for this particular part. If you ever come to a machine that has a bunch of customizations done to it and you're not a huge fan of the colors that the previous user has chosen or you want to just get back to default because you've made a ton of changes and you're not really sure what you've done anymore, we can set our background appearance to use document scene and we can set reset colors to default here. So when we select OK, we will see that we're back into our now default uh, SOLIDWORKS view. And that is all for today's video. Uh, I hope to catch you guys on another video as we go through more of these quick tips and we see more of the features that you may or may not realize exist inside of your SOLIDWORKS product.